And considering the ridiculously expensive price of uh, each one of these, um, I was thinking to myself, are titanium pens really worth it? And that's what I want to talk about today. But first, let's roll the intro. Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Coffee and EDC. My name is Andreas and yeah, on this, uh, how would I say, I would want it to be a weekly series, but I'm, I'm doing the episodes whenever I have time to do them. So yeah, we're discussing all things everyday carry. And the topic for today is uh, pens made out of titanium. And considering after all, I have not one and not two, but I have three of them. Um, the total amount for all of these three combined is like over 300 euros. And for the sake of God, I hope my wife doesn't know about the price of these, but yeah, they are ridiculously expensive. But then again, they feel good. And uh, perhaps I want to discuss, is it justified paying this insane amount for a pen? I bought these pens with my own money, meaning that there's no sponsorship he here involved, and nor do I have any monetary gain from uh, your purchases after you've watched this video. So to open the discussion, everything here is based on my personal opinion. Um, I only have experience of uh, titanium pens made by Big Idea Design. So to start off with the Big Idea Design bolt action titanium pen, the entire frame out of it is made out of titanium, obviously. And uh, the one thing about it is that it's ridiculously durable, meaning that you could probably drive over it with a truck and uh, it'll be in its the same shape as it was prior to that. So probably in everyday use, even if you would use it daily, it will probably outlive you. And that leads us to the second point, that in my opinion they're actually really comfortable to use, uh, because of the sole reason that you can uh, fit pretty much whatever ink cartridge in here, so that uh, you can find those with those gels or the, those uh, ink balls or ink rollers, uh, which have a good flow to them and considering it's titanium, it won't bend or break anyhow. So you get used to it, it's a nice durable feeling to have it, and just riding with it feels insanely good. And yeah, what about ink refills? As you can see, it's uh, kind of uh, telescopic, meaning that if you rotate it, it'll shorten, and uh, rotate it to the other direction, it will lengthen meaning that uh, once you buy from the general store pretty much any kind of refill tubes like this, uh, it will most likely fit into this pen. And the second pro is that from an EDC perspective, recall the terms, everyday carry, is that if you're carrying it with you in your pockets all of the time, there's a high chance it will, if it was a regular plastic pen, it would break, but this one won't. So yeah, that brings us back to the durability point, but in a way, regardless of how you're carrying it with you, it will withstand the abuse, and you don't have to carry a large amount of spare pens with you, because the one you have will most likely or guaranteed work. And the third and final pro, coming also again from an EDC perspective, is that if you're looking for a durable pen that's made out of metal, you might also be considering aluminum or brass or copper, which all are great in their own ways, and uh, some of them are really good looking. But the thing is that uh, pens out of titanium, they don't smell, nor do they transfer smell. But then again, if you like the smell of copper or brass, then surely be my guest, go ahead. But me, personally, I don't. Uh, so yeah, if you're out there somewhere or someone needs to borrow a pen from you, the last or final thing I would want to do is that if someone asks me to borrow my pen and I take it out and it smells like a brass or a copper and they'll be like, oh gee, it's like, wow, this smells like my hand smelling afterwards. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy who's giving that pen. And then after the, afterwards start to like educate them. Yeah, but it's a EDC pen made out of brass or copper. It's really expensive, you know? No, rather have a pen that's not smelling. And a final bonus pro about it is that uh, you can start a discussion with it. Um, if anyone asks you about it or you can be the guy, you know, you know, kind of like vegans or those doing CrossFit, you can always take out your pen and, hey, did you know this one is made out of titanium? And uh, pretty much all of the guys in the room will be like, whoa, is that made out of titanium? 
Yeah, you can use it as a show off. But yeah, enough with the pros, let's discuss the downsides instead. The first initial downside of course being it goes hand in hand with the price. It's ridiculously expensive. If you happen to lose it, yeah, that's 120 euros or 120 bucks down the drain, you're not gonna see again. So it can be quite expensive. Secondly, they're kind of a special niche product, meaning that more often than not, you'll have to order it from somewhere. And then again, with return policies varying from store to store, there's a chance that if you open up the package, try to use it or somehow they won't accept the return. And thus you might be kind of buying into an expensive pen without having the idea of uh, how it feels or how it is to use and uh, you're kind of in a position that you have to love it either way. And the second downside to it is obviously the weight of it. Uh, uh, considering it, titanium is a heavy material, yeah surely it's durable, it's just way heavier compared to aluminum pens that are out there. So if you're looking for a really small and lightweight pack, the titanium pens aren't the way you want to go. So in conclusion, are titanium pens worth it? And uh, yeah, and the answer is it's highly dependent and purely subjective. If you're ready to put out the money for it and uh, you think you can keep your pen without losing it at a job site or somewhere, then surely I would recommend to go for it and uh, I've been having this for a few years now and uh, haven't lost it yet. Knock on wood. I love the feeling of it and uh, I don't know how many ink refills I've already ran through but I've refilled it a lot. So for me I've been more than happy with it but then each and every time I get reminded of the price of it I've been also kind of thinking to myself uh, was it really worth it if I put a price tag on it I'm unsure if it was worth it for it but comparing to the asking price they are still going for at the online stores uh, yeah I don't know. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Probably with this video I just raised more questions than gave you answers, but it's highly subjective. If you value the things about a titanium pen then and can justify the price, surely it's for you. For me, I'm there in the grey zone. I'm happy now that I've bought them, but in case I lose them, I'm highly going to reconsider if I'll be getting any more of them. If you have any titanium pens, uh, let me know down in the comments. Also, what other brands are you using other than Big Idea Designer? If you're using it, drop me a comment. If you watched this video this far, then you probably enjoyed it, so make sure to hit the thumbs up button down there as it really helps my channel grow. And also, subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss out on the future junk I post here. Thanks for riding fences with me today, and I'll catch you next time. See you.